The moot court program began here in about 1977, as Byron Warnkin was graduating from law school and beginning to teach at the law school. Byron and two of his <laughs> classmates um, were on the moot court team. And these three commandeered a room in the Langsdale Library and literally took it over. And Byron owned it. There was no doubt about who owned it. And he used it as the war room for their moot court competition. There have been as many as uh, 20 or more teams at different times. Uh, currently, there are about 12 to 15 moot court teams that travel to tournaments around the country. Uh, and we routinely beat schools higher ranked than us uh, because of the example that Byron Warnkin set. And here we are, a small commuter law school in Baltimore, competing against what we called the big boys. And we came through the regionals. We went to the finals. And we came in fifth, and we came in fifth because of Byron's intensity. Many, many students I know got very good employment because they were, had been on moot court and had done well. He's gotten them jobs. He's called me numerous times. Chip, I have somebody you need to interview. Chip, this person would be a great public defender. Byron's impact on UB is clear. He has built a, a moot court program that is the envy of any school in the country. It's nationally known uh, because of the example that Byron Warnkin set. You don't pass through the University of Baltimore's hallways without having a piece of Byron Warnkin go with you. I think he considers it part of his legacy. I think it's a way of maybe, maybe even being immortal. Who knows? It, it, it'll always be there.